Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to swap out some memory and a hard drive out of this fairly old MacBook. This MacBook is still good. This is one of the last polycarbonate MacBooks. This is a 2008 2.4 GHz Core 2 Duo. It only has 2 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage on its hard drive. It's time to give it a little bit of upgrade. We're not going to go with the solid state this time. I actually picked up a 1 terabyte hybrid drive. Yeah, that we're going to put in here and then i also picked up four gigabytes of ram now this is a pretty old macbook but the person that actually owns it is a good friend of mine and this really has served him well and seems to be plenty fast for what he needs to do so since it still works well i thought we'd just give it a little bit of an upgrade we'd add some ram to it and it'll speed up a little bit and he'll have about three times the storage so that's about it so let's take this and what i've done before i swap this is actually plug in a hard drive and do a time machine backup now this particular mac is only upgradable to lion so you can't really go any newer than that uh, there's a couple ways to hack your way to that but you really don't want to do that especially if you uh, can't do it yourself or or need some help with that it's better to just stay on the official release so the first thing you do is shut this down make sure you're grounded so you're not zapping anything what you want to, what you want to do is turn this it's turning it the wrong way here so you turn this little lock here and this pops out so this is the battery you can see we can check it right like that just push the button and inside here we have a few screws so what we have is inside we have this screw this one and then the third one and then this pull tab right here will allow us to pull this right out so let's take these screws out and pop that off i have my screwdriver i'm going to remove these screws and pop this panel off And it just pops out like that the screws don't fall out they're held in place and this is all there is right here is where the ram is these two little levers and then we have the hard drive over here so let's pop the hard drive out and we've just got this little pull tab we're going to pull and it pops the hard drive out just like this now we've got a couple different tabs here we need to remove or screws these are torque screws I believe and we need to remove all four and then screw a new hard drive in place so I'm gonna do that now these are t8 torques and we'll unscrew them like this now one of the things I thought you might be interested in is why am I actually upgrading such an old Mac well the thing is is the parts I bought I actually got off new egg I just bought them pretty inexpensively I think the whole thing was about eighty or ninety dollars plus a little bit of shipping uh, or it might have even been free shipping I'm not sure but for that amount of price it's really inexpensive you can bump it up to four gigs of ram and three times the storage so i figured why not so that was a pretty good deal and not too expensive to do now that we've got the screws out we just pull this apart like this and set the hard drive aside i'll put it in the wrapper that the previous hard drive came in an anti-static bag just for safekeeping Here's the new hard drive. We'll just place this in like this and then screw this down. Here's the new drive. I'm gonna slide it into place. And we just slide it in carefully and then push it in and it's firm and in place and the pins are all connected. We'll tuck this piece under and then we'll move on to the RAM. Here is the new Crucial RAM. This is two gigabytes, 200 pin DDR2 and i think it's pc 5300 if i remember right but let's pop these out so we're just going to push this like this and it pops the ram out here's the old ram and this is what it came with so you can see it's one gigabyte so we'll put this right here for safekeeping we'll pop the new one out here's the new one and we'll slide it into place now we need to make sure this is on the right side. I believe it flips this way and then we'll place it in here like this. We'll just push it in, 
snug it down, make sure it's in there, and let's move to the next. That's the other one. Here's the other two gigabytes of RAM. Push it in there nice and tight. Everything's secure, and we can put this strip back in here. We're going to put this strip back in place. Just have to be careful that it's in here, down here, nice and snug. Hold it like this and put this back. Pretty simple upgrade. And there was a time where you had, if you had an iBook, you couldn't really upgrade that. But then they came out with these MacBooks. Then they came out with the aluminum MacBooks that were even easier to upgrade. And now they're not upgradable at all. So during Steve Jobs' era, till the end of his era, we could upgrade and then we couldn't. And it's pretty unfortunate that we can't upgrade, but we did get super thin computers out of that. So it depends what's important, but as far as these old ones go, it's great to be able to quickly upgrade them. I'll place the battery back in. And of course, this isn't going to have an operating system on it. So we can just turn this, box it in place. And in order to put an operating system on it, in this day or this era, we would use the install disks that came with it. And I actually have an old copy of, I believe this is Leopard, we're going to put Snow Leopard on it. I bought this a long time ago, and now I'm on El Capitan, but we'll go from this, and then we'll upgrade to Lion using the App Store. The operating system's been installed, all the backup files were moved using Time Capsule, and we're running Lion. We've also got four gigabytes of RAM, and you'll see we also have one terabyte of storage. So we've got plenty of storage to go, and this should continue to run for quite some time. If you have any questions or comments, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.